All right. It's time. Take it easy, man. All right, guys. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. And the finals. It's here. You know what? I'd be happy if you found my wallet. I'd even let you tap on the cards a couple of times, honestly. It's like I've never lost my wallet. So I'm really trying to. You know. I like to go on a trip, too. So it's actually really cool. There we go. So, I didn't really get to see too much today. Um, Gore on the winner's final six. We won. We got him starting Joker. Which. I can see the uh, plus side to this other stuff for all. It the movement, but it doesn't really matter. Bro, I just got this uh, grenade wall. I like how he played that Arsene. Uh, didn't really push the issue too much, we just knew the timing he had and um, caught the upper there. And that's basically just got Arsene off of those two grenades. Great match, really down for as well. And yeah, early Arsene's here. Ooh. Yeah, really gotta push the issue with that one more game. Ring the Prince and Echo. Step back, Esther. Oh, Alright. And I think, yeah, you're content to just hold the jab there. I mean, not too huge of a punish, which probably has. At that point, to get the r sub meter. This is especially a nice spot to have r sub. I kind of close this stock out at this high percent. Build up a good lead. Here it is. Shit on shield. It's kind of unpunished, but... I think about everything goes unpunished. I think the upper again. I like it. Banjo is going to take his time up there. I'm um, popping the grenade and whatnot. And, ooh, Brian, uh... Calling it out, I and mean, getting the consistent kills is, is going to be important for Bamboo to kind of create some sort of comeback or you run into enough of these both out. I don't see respect trying to get for the S round off of that, but um, Brian is. Paper is mashing. The Alto is really sneaky, but yeah, Joker kind of just gets to hop more. Oh. Our son was coming out often and was being very not even just kind of big strings of damage and whatnot, just holding down the neutral with it. Finding what would be small hits with Day Stroke or turning into big hits with our son and uh, turning into a meaningful comeback. He understands. He understands the ebb and flow of the game. Why not? Why not do this? Roy has a phenomenal Steve. Bandra got a little wash there. Let's do it. Uh, I really don't like how this matchup looks for Goku. Um, I don't think I've really ever seen it played that often. Um, especially not at kind of a higher level. Um, base Joker at least. Seems like uh has a bit of a tougher time. I don't know, I think once the walls get established, I just I don't really know what you do. And uh, the up tilt doesn't really care about how skinny and hard to hit Joker is. Um, it's gonna hit anybody. Um, I'm just throwing some big swings and holding in, but boy uh it's the right answers right now, following with the fair and uh, he's about to be gone and for what? Pickaxe is gone, but we had a low enough percent, honestly, that it's 
pretty fine though. Cracked the diamond early. Good, air dodge out. And X Smash on the punish too, that X Smash is incredibly punishable. Oh, yeah. Back out of shield. And the uh, damage really came back his way just off the run with X Smash. He's F Smashing. I really, I wasn't going to say anything about it, but he's S smashing and now Troy hasn't had the chance to recraft the pickaxe and it took the gamble on getting back into advantage and being able to craft his diamonds early and it really didn't pay off. They've made him pay dearly for it. Takes the stock first. Okay, maybe a little 37% start. And do you let him mine here? The gun does do damage to the blocks, it looks like the Yeah. Minecart baby. Double up it, it just looks like um doing a good job right now of getting in, getting the kind of one, two, three hit combos. And getting out, but you are getting Joker's so scared, but fair missed somehow. Joker's getting ass. Gun seems interesting against the blocks. Not amazing, but interesting. And I like his not biting there. He gets done really well. I've sent an F tilt looks ooh, very nice against uh, the wall there. And that's some meaningful damage there, tipping on the side loop. Oh, we're doing a really good job of running back and getting that, but we're swinging the smash packs again. Nothing too big in terms of the punish. The diamond pick breaks. And another tough spot. Boys is getting to put in a tough spot in terms of <laughs> But that'll that'll happen. Ooh. Really great play though, with the respawn invincibility, pushing the issue and hitting the uh, pressure plate with the TNT that's very close to him and getting the down smash from the roll out, and another great down smash on a panic off, off ledge. And even it up. There's some Steve gaming, walking forward with the up tilt, but uh, we don't know what your character's got against it. Uh, pretty phenomenal option. Well, now we're placing iron blocks, so the mats are... Looking dire. Cool cool here. I love the back throw there. Knowing that the early minecart was going to come at a disadvantage. Vapor is playing this really I think this, this feels like Vapor's game to lose. Person here now has to be careful of how he tilts the balls because Steve can just rip an F smash on him for daring to. And a very brave high fair. Well, it didn't look like too big a punish, but it really loves to get the minecart in. Oh my god. Now he's up smashing. We're all up smashers here. Oh, I, for some reason I thought that big. That smashes the punish again. Oh my god, what a scrap. That's true. Yeah. Big diamond there. I don't even know why I doubted that would kill. Win. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. Steve Pick was a very good idea. I think Vapor looked comfy, honestly. In a matchup that looks just at least a little awkward. Especially if you have Sephiroth, it's like... Why do you really worry about the Joker-Steve matchup? If you have kind of Sephiroth, who's a little bit more Three, uh, consistent, two, but one, using this, the counter pick is going to go to Banjo, I guess, on a prefer more preferable stage. <laughs> yeah, bro, we talked the last game you shall receive. Um, not often you see someone sweeping off their Steve for Banjo, so I feel like for a win. But, uh, I guess just trying to force out the Sephiroth. Steve pick, but I'm gonna stay banjo and also, you know, breaking up the pacing of how you have to play Joker against Banjo and how you play against Steve, but paper on face. Death smash on the 
grenade landing him, wanting to pick up the grenade. That's on that's a super great call against that character. And now I feel like as long as you can get one hit with your arson, yeah, it's feeling good. And, uh, yeah, not really paying off for um the Sephiroth not coming out and this Joker just still looking clean. I mean I'd be worried about it. Is the Joker doing that well against the Steve? But, uh, Down throw? What a mash out. And even getting the uh, counter up to try to get the Nair follow up. People full pop in. Oh man. Vapor's just jumping over every grab. Getting a hit off of every whiff. Oh, even the get up attack goes unpunished. We got an aggressive wonder in. It's a great arrow down, but. Is okay, my bad. Those are just kill options. Back to Rob's kill. Go high. Go to back throw. Quick 26. Dropping the shield there is a little rough. And, uh. Ooh, he's not looking too bad on the second stock, but here's our son. Phenomenal chase off the side. Didn't know if he was going to get stuck on the ledge and need an F smash, but he's able to get off. It looked good for him, but Vapor followed that down. And, oh, Vapor has been so scary around for his own grenade. Kind of, especially as I said, just kind of daring him to try and go pick it up or make something out of it. And that's it. Yeah. Incredibly punishable move and Vapor's up to one now. Yeah, nice. I think starting off as the Joker is yeah, been doing a lot more for him. So now PS2, I assume we're going back to the zombie. Stop the battle! Go zombie! <laughs> nice. Alright, let's see it. But this time, yeah. I think you probably want a lot more walls against Joker, but probably easier said than done, just with how fast this character can knock you down, especially in the hands of a uh, player like Joker. And yeah. Both call on the crafting table. Got out of the anvil. And a bit of a bold. Just drop off back air from uh, Troy. Nothing too crazy, but. Great, kind of kind of done. Just kind of dash back too on uh, Vapor's own attempt at an air out. Looks like. Okay, but our sense here, you're at like 80. There's a lot better spots you could be in. And um, I think he's kind of knows where he can throw these up smashes out against Steve. And. Where's Steve can punish him? It doesn't look like there. And my shield is so bad. And couldn't get back over the wall either and got a back air in, but... Troy has survived the arson. Nice, got there. I tried to get into the angle, but not usually a great call. Um, you can usually bet on not beating Steve Dawson the way he pulls out. But, uh... Oh, no iron for the angle, but... Punishes aren't too great. That was weird, didn't even hit his shield. It's like the upsmash just missed Steve. And the... I didn't even notice the, the pick breaking. He's at another spot too, or if he crafts now, he's gonna use his diamonds. Um, but he's at such a high percent that maybe he doesn't want to commit to using it, but he's cooking without it. Oh, huge recovery as well. Stone wall is gonna come up and uh, Steve making that stone wall, half a five month goes. But um 
got through it. Another great recovery, too. It looks like maybe Fair was supposed to come out there. Um, back there might not have been the play, but uh. Dude, Pro doesn't need his tools right now. <laughs> Big back there, though. I think. I guess that was the drawback of not having really any of the tools, is he only got up to 66 on the next shot, but. I think made the most of that super weird situation. Uh, did, did Croy. And now you got your diamond tools. And, um, kind of popping off on him. Yeah, dash attack there is not the move at all. Gonna get the anvil dropped on him. And this is a much better Steve game for Croy. I don't know if he's played any Steve today, so maybe just have to warm up a little bit, but this looks warm. And looks like he's abusing. The aspects that make it so hard to go for a little bit more. Getting hit twice by that one, but Minecraft is so demoralizing. You get all smashed right after. Weird interaction. Countering the uh, angel coming down, but didn't get anything off of it. And a ton of stat up smash this time. No mats whatsoever, but. What are we gonna do about it? Are you scared to push with the RC? I'm just kidding, this guy doesn't feel fear at all. He's gonna smash the minecart. Oh wait, how did he get his how did you get your shield up there? Who designed this game? And we got another mod diamonds. Just in case you thought this uh, last stock was gonna be a little easier. Looked like it should have been the right play there, but punishing Steve, unfortunately not so easy. Oh, this is, I hate when the TNT comes down now. What is going on? And healthy on the max now. He's gonna make me spend some, but but the crafting table it actually hasn't got his diamonds yet. There could be something here. Okay, my bad. Never mind. Made him work for it though. Yeah. Super kills. That's game five. Alright, let's see where the counter pick four takes us. If Corey's gonna immediately go back to Banjo. Um see the onus is on Croy to pick first. Small battlefield, let's see. Stop battle. Oh, we're thinking about it. And okay, yeah, Sephiroth is out. Kong's bluff. Two, one, go! And now you match up that Vapor is a lot more comfortable with. Uh, Sephiroth is having the range. Um, and some more potent punishes on a couple specific Steve options. Uh, that can really turn the tide. Um, but I feel like as long as Steve doesn't play particularly lazy, it's at worst. It like I feel like it feels decently even fun. I think he can ooh, really abuse the stuff off this advantage, but uh but it's just not getting put in disability. Keeping in that corner, throwing the bear. Oh. Nice way to ledge. I really thought that was hitting. And what a great option against uh, kind of fancier Steve recoveries. You know, if you did the minecart, you have to jump out in the explosion. Trying to call the like, weird angles you do on the upbeat. Um, why complicate this? Why not just press neutral boot? Or side? Why not just press, yeah, neutral boot? Ooh, I'll call that on the minecart attack. Right. But, uh, Steps over there, one car too. Oh yeah, dash check for good measure. You thought I wasn't gonna chase. This is. It's true, Marsh. I thought I'd get on for one. Oh, big factor too. Yeah. And deep. 
love the uh, Sephiroth. Off stage forward air. Oh, just stop these right into his face. Now, throw, didn't do it, yeah, no rage. Now, barring a Steve happening, it looks like Vapor's gonna take this to a set too. But now things get dicey though. He's decided that yes, Sephiroth's looking better for the Switch. I can't just tuck this out with Joker. Uh, now things are gonna get really awkward, I think. Especially on how they start or double blind or strike with the start of this next set. But don't let me get too preemptive. There is evil Steve things that are yet could, could still happen. There you go, my card just beat me, beat me back there. Oh! Rod does it. I mean, I'm just waiting for Paper to figure out how we'd like to win. Back there through. Uh oh. Stop on fair, missing. Nice. Excellent call on the anvil. That up air is perfect for it. We got Boy going down to losers to play Vapor again in this grand finals. Stop the battle! Alright. We're double blinding. Sorry about that. So we've double blinded. Um, and we started here and it's um Okay, looks like an even bout. Oh 
pickaxe is broken. I'm gonna get a stone one. Um, that just looked so good. Steve just got away from it, shocked with that interaction. Very bizarre. Oh, I feel like if I get up attacked there, I would die. But uh, maybe it's just a thing. Oh. Oh. Who the hell is dying first on this second star? Expecting the wall. I think I spoke in a can, but yeah, rage that will do it for sure. Don't know why they gave the spell still so. But, um, here we go. <laughs> Caught on the wall and I'm smashed. I guess Croy just, uh, I think we can get up there in time and maybe pop a jump or something. But dude, baby, walk up to him. I do, I do feel like it's kind of useless though, complaining about something that Steve has. Because then there's another thing to complain about, and then the commentary just kind of spirals from there. So, in any case, TNT back down. We're playing a puzzle game, which just barely doesn't get the pressure plate with that out there. Broken pickaxe again! Troy is letting his pickaxe go. Why not? Okay, I'm hiding. It's certainly kill percent for vapor. Yeah, my bad. Minecraft will do it. So anticlimactic. But great spot to do it. Look like he was kind of stuck in the guns or something, and my card will get you. Stop battle. Go. Go. Sure. Oh, sorry, I didn't change this up off as well, but. Um. Three, two, one, Don't go and see. Joker. Okay, so now you're behind. It's crucial for these counter pick wars here. You find yourself in now. And oh, sneaky as down B. Out of that Joker string. Kinda like warping his hurt by practice a little bit. It's like the uh, border follow up as the game comes out. I need to go high to punish that. But, uh, Wonder Wing is the aggressive option out of this game of all time. And our sending comes and goes with no real kill. And yeah, Croy wants that down throw. What a weird draft attack. You know, it's like paper making this gambit to try to get a uh, another Arsene on this first star. We're extending you on the ledge now. Yeah. What's the grab attempt? The grab surely means uh, means death here. Go back here. Nice. I'm gonna do it. Had to get a little aggro. The river's already running back by the time that fog is getting into his head. Nice. Oh, tries to get the down throw there, but doesn't get the spike that blocks. I think it was the right call. And uh, 62 all of a sudden has just appeared from uh, Koi's name and character portrait. Oh, short on the S-Mash, it's the right idea. And I think it's a ripping, our send's gone. They were still fighting. Back there is not even getting close to killing. Best get up attack I've seen in a hot minute. See ya. Now, let's not mess around with any mashing shenanigans. Let's confirm the kill with his back throw. Ooh, what a catch.
Big down smash though, and this is a firm spot lead for paper. Ooh! A lot of damage though, and that one wing almost looked like the right idea. <laughs> Speaking of the right idea, it's at 84 up. Guys, I don't know about this. This could be a fraudulent lead. There we go. At least not getting one Arsene there. He tripped. Okay, nice. That'll be a big ass smash. One back up tilt. Oh, just a little bit of extra damage with the grenade, too. Oops. Right in there. I, uh, I don't know. I've got to open this. It's almost a bad idea. It seemed like the right idea on the, the Nair coming in, but... No more send, no problem. Oh, boy, fan. Oh, love the aggressive dash type in. Pick up his own grenade. Make it a non-factor. Picked it up again. I'm just seeing a lot of rage for Wonder Woman right now, guys. Just, I have a terrible feeling. <laughs> Tried to go for it there. Now, bad spot for Koi. He's got one of those left. He's got to make it count, but yeah, get on top of the SM there. Super tough. He has two for James. Okay. Now it's on Vapor to try to get one over on this rougher matchup and just try to beat up. Um, I guess for if he wins this off the banjo, we'll go, sorry, we'll go back to banjo and he'll be able to go to the Joker. But, uh, that's about my pig right man. They're just scrapping through and uh I missed all the uh, games of uh, Banjo Sephiroth, so really don't know what to expect here. Platform is getting in the way of that a little bit, but yeah, the rest makes something big out of this win. The forwarder swings from Koi are so effing scary, but that is big. It's big damage on the spot dog call. And that'll do it. Pop with one up there, just made these a little uncomfy, and then just maybe kind of a panicky, panicky or uh, side there. They got off smart. Oh no! Flop <laughs> with the egg. That's tough. That's one of those moves that arcs just perfectly to hit you a second time. Both these guys are really uncomfortable in the scraps. Now the orbs are on. Oh! That's an awesome option for uh, getting to the orbs and the down smash as well. <laughs> oh! That's big damage. Oh. If anything, just putting him into real character mode. Something to hit there, but I'll just run all the way through dash and off. Why not? Let's make it happen right now. Now they're up tilt, and this is looking like a comfortable game for Koi. What are we doing right now? Uh, okay, there we go. There's that interaction. Uh, that makes sense, honestly. It just looks a little fun. Oh my god, pushing the issue, getting up there. Maybe wants this lead gone, but uh, Koi stacking it up. The grenade fair is just such a demoralizer. 
Oh, what a huge parry. Dash X gonna be the punish. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to kill. Ah, oh, that's such a bummer. The up tilt not really sweeping or anything, but it's in kind of a super awkward spot to land and try to punish that as Sephiroth. Wait, oh, whatever's going on, but uh, I think Croy's got the patience. Go oh. That's that's like that's terrible. That is really bad. That is. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna love with you guys. Like that's awful. Um. 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 Oh god. Three, two, now Vapor has a significant go. advantage here. Even if the Sephiroth loses here, which it looked like it was going to that game, he's able to now keep him on. Force it either switch to Steve, which he doesn't want to, or get the ban the Joker out against the Banjo, which has gone undefeated so far. I think, um, I think with the air dodge there, I think he used the air dodge off stage before he got back, so I actually don't think he had an air dodge to come back, but I, I could be wrong. I, I think there's probably a reason why, he probably has a good understanding of his resources with this character. It's probably a good reason why it didn't come out. Um, but, you know, whatever, go next, you gotta shake it off now. Um, I love that call out. Even if the bear did come out there, screw it, we're just armoring through. That can stay alive through it. Get out of that. Kind of unreliable. Drag down the banjo there. Oh, it popped into it. The balls love their short hop. I'm kind of shocked that down tilt missed. Um, that'll definitely do it. And it's like this game is it's, it's almost hard to watch this game because it just no matter what happens here it doesn't really matter. It's all about what's gonna happen in this game five. If the Joker comes out air to air up air, it's honestly a great option against the banjo playing the made up high, but let's see if Wing does anything here. Ooh, another great getup attack. Kind of an up throw near there, but probably a little too close, yeah, for an X-Man to be that strong. Yeah, except for all. Oh! The shield was low, the orb hit. One wing angel, angel at uh, smash attacks. We'll do it. We can pick it up as well. All right, down throw up tilt cleans it up, but. Stacking up for Vapor now, snuck that in on a uh, cheeky back air attempt. Ooh! Guys, I really don't know what to tell you. It's online too, but 68's not too bad of a place to be. Ray grabs through, but up there at the near. It's an amazing air air attempt. But right. a couple cracks and coil right now. Perfectly says back around the shield. Just gonna disengage. Huge down smash. No way! Oh eight explosion. And that's, uh, Vapor Through Losers.
Yeah.